let's review solving systems of linear equations by elimination. So the first step in solving a system by elimination is that we may need to multiply, if necessary, to one or both equations by a constant. So at least one pair of like terms has the opposite coefficient. So example, if we're trying to find, like if we're trying to eliminate x's and we have a 7x and an x, we need to multiply by a negative 7. So that way this is a negative 7x in the inside. Our goal is to get them to be the same terms, the same number, but just with opposite signs. So if we have a 7x, the opposite term is negative 7x. If we have a negative 3x, we want the other one to be a positive 3x. Or on the other side, we check y. So say, for instance, we have a negative 2y, we want a positive 2y. So that is what I mean by like terms, so the same variable, with opposite so opposite signs, but the same number coefficient in front. Because when I add them together, notice that these all equal zero, and it cancels it out. So that's our goal for elimination. Step two, after we get it to have the opposite coefficient, then we're going to add the equation, the equations to eliminate one of the variables. And then you're going to solve the resulting equation for the remaining variable. So, for example, maybe you'll cancel out x's and then you solve for the y. Then step four, you substitute it, whatever you found. Substitute the value from step three into one of the original equations. And solve. You're going to write the solution as an ordered pair. And then remember that the x's go first and the y's go second. And then step six, you should check your solution in both equations. So let's go ahead and try this example here. We're going to solve the system by elimination. No multiplying in this case. So if we take a look at this example, we have x plus 3y equals negative 2 and x minus 3y equals 16. So you take a look at it. What do we want to eliminate first? Well, I want to see that if I added them together, is there something that will cancel out? In this case, yes, there is something that will cancel out. We see that we have positive 3y and a negative 3y. So in this case, we want to be able to cancel those out. So the coefficients of the y terms are already opposites. We have a positive 3 and a negative 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add these equations together. So I'm going to rewrite it here. x plus 3y equals negative 2, and x minus 3y equals 16. So if I add it together, remember there are ones in the front. 1x plus 1x is 2x. 3y minus 3y, well, that is our 0. And then negative 2, um, plus 16, that is positive 14. Then we're going to solve for x. So divided by 2, we find that x equals 7. So we found one of our solutions. We're going to solve for the remaining variable, so we need to solve for our y value. In order to do that, you substitute this x into one of the equations. It really doesn't matter which one you plug it into, you'll still get the same answer. So we plug in 7. Let's say the top equation. I'll use equation 1. So 7 plus 3y equals negative 2. So let's solve for y. Subtract 7 on both sides. We get 3y equals negative 9 divided by 3. We find that y equals negative 3. So then we write the solution as an ordered pair x is 7 and y is negative 3. So we're going to go ahead and plug it in to check our solution. So we have 7, negative 3, and we're going to plug it into both. So I'll try the top one first. So this is 7 plus 3 times negative 3. Is that going to equal negative 2? So we're trying to see if it's true. If it's true, that means it is correct. 
So 7 plus 3 times negative 3 is a negative 9. And so 7 minus 9 is, in fact, negative 2, so that is okay. It's perfect. Now, you must check the other solution because a lot of times what happens is that it'll work for one equation and then it won't work for the other. If it doesn't work for one of them, that means something went wrong and you have to go back and check what happened. So let's go ahead and try the second equation. So x is 7 minus 3 times the negative 3, and is that equal to 16? So 7, negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9, and 7 plus 9 is 16. So 16 does equal 16. So 7, negative 3, is my solution to the system. So what I want you to do is go in and try this example here, 2x minus y equals 9, and 4x plus y equals 21. Notice that you can eliminate something right away. You are able to eliminate the y's right away. So that cancels out. So go ahead and finish this out, and when you come back, I'll have the answer for you. So if you tried this out, you would have solved for x. x would equal 5, so just be careful when you're adding. And then once you have 5, you plug it into one of the equations. So I plugged it into the top. Make sure you're plugging in the right variable. So x is 5. So 2 times 5 minus y equals 9. I get 10 minus y equals 9. Subtract 10 from both sides. So I have negative y equals negative 1. You can't leave the variables negative, so one way to get rid of that is divide by negative 1 to both sides. So when I do that, I get y equals 1. Then you check, and they both do work. And then here's your final answer as an ordered pair. So as a hint, uh, at the bottom of these pages are the answers. So 1, 2, and 3 are on here. And then on the back side, the homework, that also has the answers for you so you know you are on the right path. So hope this helps. Thanks for watching.